Hey guys, this is Greg Fraser again with Jing Sheng Koshi, bringing you the technique of the week. Uh, by request this week, I've had somebody ask me to demonstrate some techniques for using this speed bag right here. Uh, when you're starting with the speed bag, some of the things that we want to remember are position, okay? When you first start, best way to learn is start by having both elbows in a V, inside V position, okay? And what you want to do is you want to start just with this triple V pattern. Okay, so you hear that? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's what you're looking for. I start off by pushing it with my hands at first. Okay, as soon as I get this, then what I want to do is turn it into fists. Okay, so we're now getting this roll. A couple things that you'll see with beginners is a lot of this type of thing, which is fine if you're working for hand speed or you just want it as an exercise. But the typical rhythm pattern is coming from this triple D, okay? So again, walk, we're first working with palms out. Don't let your elbows go, don't get ahead of your elbows or you'll start getting this cross cut. There is use for it, but it'll start taking off on you as you start learning the speed back. Okay, so high V, get it about the bag so it's about level to your chin, okay? So I'm not catching the top heel, the top peg, okay? Catching the frame. And then we're gonna start right here, so again, one, two, three. Starting off with the hands open, bring it to the side of your face as soon as you can get your fist going. Bring it to the middle and work on doing both sides of your fist. Okay? Now it's out on one side, bring it back to the middle, off the other side. Once you've got that, then you should start working on single hand. Work on that, both sides of your head. Okay? Work on switching hands. Both sides of your head, bring it to the middle, bring it off to the side. Okay? Notice that I'm rolling from the elbow. Another common mistake is trying to drop it down or trying to really punch it hard. Okay, this is a rhythm drill with airbags. We're not trying to blow up the airbag, okay? We're using this for, it's not a tough man thing, it's a rhythm and timing drill. Okay, I'm gonna teach you a couple things. The first ones are the basics of the speed bag. I'm gonna demonstrate how these can be applied with uh, applications like uh, boxing or your Eskrima or Kempo type stuff. First one we're going to start off with, the first is just as bad. Three count through. Next one we're going to do is cross cutting. So when we cross cut, we want to start with the knuckles. Okay? Notice how I'm doing that. The knuckle comes in, I push through with the knuckle, come back with the hammer fist. Okay? So I cut across with the knuckle, back with the hammer fist. Again, Keeping those elbows hot. This is the first rhythm. As I'm doing this, you'll notice this rocking of my body. I'm turning my, whichever hand I'm shooting with, I'm turning that toe in towards the center of the peg. Okay, so I'm rocking as I cross. Long cross, long cross. Very nice. Next one that we'll pick up after that is called cut through. Right, and all I'm doing on this is I'm pushing through and back with my wrist. One, two, back. Right. See that? Right, so it's just fist, bump it with the wrist. Fist, bump it with the wrist. Very nice. Okay. So now, so far, you've got the alternating triple. Okay. Standard position. You got your cross cut and the cut through. Okay, once you've got the cut through, you should be able to do that with both hands. Okay, you can go back or this type of way. There's all kinds of variations you can create yourself. The next one is working your doubles. Doubles, okay, what I want to do is I want to have the back hand follow almost simultaneously with the lead hand. So I'm here. See how there's that double roll right there? Boom. I should be able to do it on both sides of the head too. Okay? Working at both sides, out in the middle. Again, we can start adding that into our rhythm. So base rhythm, let me give you a little just basics. Okay, so I can start off. Okay. Cross cut. Right here. Single hand. Cross cut here, do double. Good, very nice. As 
tuned in to this from my fly this more for box. And what this does is it gets my body into a roll and I roll my punches rather than push my punches like a piston. I want to keep them nice and fluid. When I'm using this in boxing, I now just back out slightly. Okay, take my punch here, go into my boxing stand, and just like that until it's at my jab. Okay, now I'm at my lead knuckle. Okay, we can start adding jabs to the boxing stand. And then we're going to use our fundamentals of footwork. For instance, the fade and follow. I can come in, jab, cross, fade, and follow. Alright, see that? Jab, cross, fade, and follow. Good. We're going to use the bump. Alright, so I can jab, good. Jab, cross, bump out, come back to the left. Alright, one time. Right here, jab, cross, bump, bump. Jab, jab, cross, bump, bump. Alright, again. Here, I'll see you in the swing step. Okay. Jab, alright, jab, cross, swing, bump. Alright, sorry, I'm working on a little bit. So basically, I'm going to work in this. I'm going to move it off. 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 Work on that type of stuff. Again, you can also use your uppercut. When you're doing the uppercut, you want a half deep rest. So if I'm covering my lead uppercut, I'm going to boom, dip, and stop it. Alright, see that? So uppercut, boom, I'm going to jab, jab, cross, dip, up on the way back. If you're doing rhythm lines, you can always just do a back cut, stop, and get your rhythm going from there again. If we're now looking at stuff like a screamer, we can add in what we call the heaven six or the heaven four. Right? So all I'm doing now is I'm playing under the elbow. So I've got my cross cut. See that? There's the point of cross cut. And now I'm going to dip under a hidden strike under my elbow. So you get this effect. See that? Okay. You can also then later add in variations. You can drop your elbow onto do an elbow strike. You know that's going? Like a throw, up down. Alright, we can also use the elbow as a downward strike. This type of one. Alright, just to gather your rhythm. Alright, what are you doing? Alright, you've got variations like you come with cross cut. Start to work it in. That type of stuff as well. As soon as you get that, that's the basics, okay? This is uh, just phase one of what you can do. And now what you want to do is just start to practice, go through the techniques, pick up the bowl and the elbow, and put the together.
Let me know, I'd be happy to answer or we'd be happy to work on any piece of equipment that you have questions about. Uh, just give us a call. Again, you can email me at greg at jingshenmaster.com or check us out on our YouTube site, which is YouTube slash jingshencoaching. And you can find that at the bottom page. Have a nice day.